you know you're an adult when you're getting presents like this, don't you? I never thought I'd be showing you a frying pan in my what I got for Christmas and be so happy about it. It's just, it's everything to me. clicking on this video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you what I got for Christmas this year in 2020. I love watching these videos, I find them so interesting, I love seeing what people have got. I personally don't feel like they are bragging videos, I think they're just really interesting. I think maybe there will be some people who maybe use it as an opportunity to show off, but for me I know that I'm extremely grateful and fortunate to be given such lovely amazing gifts by my friends and family. Um, they worked really hard and have put a lot of thought and effort into getting these these gifts. So yeah, I know people do like a big disclaimer at the beginning, but I feel like we spoke about it. So let's move on and just get straight into the gifts. So you might notice that I am actually sat in my pajamas and that is because this was one of the gifts that I received. So I felt like it was an extremely appropriate time to be able to film in my pajamas and get away with it. So these are actually personalized pajamas. Like I'm obsessed. These actually have my initials on DB. How exciting, like how beautiful. And they're a really lovely pink colour with a piping on and yeah, I love these. So they have little matching pink shorts to go with them and I am obsessed, I love them so much. So I thought I'd just start off with those ones. I love getting pyjamas for Christmas and I got this other pair as well from PLT. Yeah, I'll see if I can put like a picture on because I feel like I can't really do them justice from here. Pop a picture on screen of these because I just feel like I can't show you properly with the space that I've got. Next up is something really, really exciting. Now, if you haven't watched the home edit on Netflix, what the hell have you been doing? You need to watch it. It's the best, most satisfying program I've ever watched. Like, watching them go into a space and create just organization and structure is just, it's everything to me. So. My parents got me the Home Edit Life book and I'm really, really excited. Like, look, it just, oh. He just basically explains their process for organising. If you've watched the show, then they do give you a little bit of an insight, but I wanted the book. And let me have a look at the contents page and tell you what it says. Yeah, so part one is adopting the 360 mindset, and then part two is organising for how you really live. Because I know that for me and some people on the show, a big concern is that once you organise your life, you're not going to be able to keep it that way. It's got to be maintainable. So I'm really excited to have a read of this. Okay, what's next? Next up, so I'm not doing this in any order whatsoever. There's literally I'm just grabbing them off the bed. Um, my favourite ever chocolate is Lint and this is a Lint gift set. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that for me. Like, you get some of the long ones, some of the truffles, some little squares, love hearts, and also a big bar of the Lint chocolate. This is a Baileys and Harding gift set. It's got cosy socks and a little foot lotion. I love this, I love cosy socks. Like, cosy socks is always a winner for me in terms of gifts. Um, I get this foot lotion. So this is a sweet mandarin and grapefruit scent. So I'm now able to open this. I was going to use it last night and then I was like, no, it's not going to look as cute if it's not in the packaging. So I left it. The Nivea Soft Lips collection. So inside it's got the four. Ah, let's get it open. This camera keeps going out of focus, so I do apologize if I keep going in now. This has got the four Nivea scents in. You get the cherry, strawberry, the lip shine, and the original moisture in these four. So it's nice to have luscious lips. Next up, I got this sheet mask gift set. So this is from Primark and this has vitamin C an Ciozyme Q10 sheet mask and a vitamin A sheet mask. So this is a pack of three. I love stuff like this. Like I love doing face masks. I'm obsessed with them. I love the Primark face masks. I think they're so good. Such good value for money and they actually really work as well. Anything like this. You've got me. So I also got the Dr. Pawpaw Multi-Purpose Soothing Natural Balm. So this can be used for lips, cheeks and cosmetic finishing, I'm not really sure what that means. It basically is just like a pink balm and I tried it on my hand and it literally will make the best cream blush ever. Like, oh my God, I can't wait to use this. I just tried it on the back of my hand up to now, but yeah, I'm definitely gonna be using that in a tutorial. Next up, I got a hot water bottle and what better hot water bottle to get than a gingerbread one. Oh my God, look at how cute those little gingerbread men are. I love hot water bottles. I feel like, especially for the time of the month when my stomach's hurting, because I get really bad pains, they always really work. I just put one on my stomach, lie in bed, watch film, eat chocolate and sorts me right out every time. So I'm really excited that I have got one now with a little gingerbread man on. If you watch any of my vlogs before, then you will know that this year I became, not obsessed, but 
basically so right, I'll show you what it is and I, then I'll explain. It's probably better, isn't it? So I got this Harry Potter mug and I just fell back in love with Harry Potter this year. Obviously I've watched them before, I've watched them numerous times before, but I've never really sat and watched them in like chronological order over a period of time. I really enjoyed them when I was younger, but I just really felt like this year it became my like happy place to sit and watch them. After the year that we've had, I'm not gonna go into it too much, feel like I found a lot of escape in those films. They're obviously a little bit nostalgic for me because I watched them when I was a kid and read the books, but also just the magic of it and just being able to escape what's actually happening in the world by watching one of those films. And then I would have two hours or however long they are to escape what was going on in the real world and all the problems that people were having. Yeah, they became my happy place. Um, so I can't wait to start watching them again <laughs> and having a little Harry Potter mug whilst I do it. Like, doesn't get much better than that, does it really? What a great present. Okay, so next up is a hair product. So this is the Babyliss Big Hair 42 Millimeter Blow Dry brush Whew. so i've actually already used this i've only used it once basically like a blow drying brush and it's not plugged in so i'm not able to show you but it basically rotates i've only used it once i think i did really well actually using it it can it takes a bit of getting used to because for this brush it, it rotates and it rotates both ways so when you are brushing it through your hair you have to rotate it to sort of emulate the the action that hairdressers do basically when they have a blow dry brush and a hair dryer and they pull it down and it does save a lot of our mate believe me i've tried doing curly blow dries sleep blow dries and with a brush and a hair dryer and oh my god my arms ache i don't know how hairdressers do it what i'm going to do is i'm going to practice a little bit more till i've got it down and then i'll do a tutorial on it but yeah i love this so much so next up is it even christmas if you don't get any soap and glory i got this soap and glory gift set so this is the sugar crush collection tin so in this you get the puffy eye attack under eye brightening patches you get the miracle moisture sheet mask you also get the sugar crush body butter cream which smells incredible it's like a lime scented one you also get a bath bomb a hand food so i don't actually don't have a hand cream at the it so that's obviously really useful now the next couple of presents might seem a little bit random because they are but they're not it'll make sense so basically if you haven't watched my videos before then you probably won't know that I'm moving out of my family home in the next few months so for Christmas I actually suggested to my family when they asked what I wanted that they maybe start getting me a couple of little house bits it will probably be in the next I would say four months or so so I just thought it's a good idea to start getting some little bits and I was really struggling to give ideas for Christmas this year I've got a few different little bits but we're gonna start off with these wine glasses I mean you know you're an adult when you're getting presents like this, don't you? So these are the red wine balloon glasses. I love a thin wine glass, a big wine glass. Like wine does taste different out of different glasses and you can't argue with me on that. Tea tastes different out of different teacups. This is just facts. I don't know why. There's gotta be some kind of science behind it. There has to be. And then I also got this four pack of highball glasses. So I do actually have the tumbler versions of these, the half ones, but I've put these away in my wardrobe and I I can't reach them now and there's nobody here to help me get them down so yeah it's basically just a half size version of this and I also got two gin glasses as well so I also got this cutlery set so this is a silver cutlery set from Asda and it is a 32 piece one this feels so good like it feels like really good quality I'm really impressed actually and then finally for the kitchen is a big one so just give me a sec <laughs> This is a pan set. You get five in this set and they are really, really nice. I'm going to show you actually how nice these are. I never thought I'd be showing you a frying pan on this channel in my What I Got For Christmas and be so happy about it. I am an adult. I am grown up now. I um, love this present and they feel like such good quality as well. They're like them kind of pans that you know you're going to have for years. I've got one more home item and then we'll move on to the last few presents. So I actually also got, I'm so excited, So this is a white company bath mat. I know, I'm bougie as hell. So you can't really see, can you see it on the camera? Can you see it there? Basically it's Basically, it's just like a plain white toweled bath mat with the white company London on it. I just love it so much. It's so simple, so elegant, so bright. So another thing that I got was this game. So this is called Don't Mention It. So, for example, it gives you a word 
and I'm allowed to say things to suggest what the word is to you, but there's always three words on here that you're not allowed to say. So, for example, we'll try it. Well, I'll do the first one, and then I'll leave the bottom one, and you can comment down below if you know what it is. If I said to you, it is an animal, oh, it's got claws, it lives in the jungle, um, and it is, oh God, it's really hard. Um, it's got claws, it's got whiskers. Oh, there's one in um, the bad guy in Jungle Book is one of these. So you would say a tiger. Do you see what I mean? But so the word is tiger, but you're not allowed to say stripe, orange or cat. This is the second one. I'll give you the clues. If you can guess it, comment it down below. So this is a dessert. It has a crumbly base and one of the main ingredients is cream cheese. Can I say that? Yeah, I think so. So if you know what it is, comment it down below. I think that one's pretty easy compared to Tiger, but we'll see. So this next one is the last physical gift, I think. I've tried to keep everything together and I feel like I've missed some stuff out. So if I do, if I have, I do apologize. So I also got the Clever Fox Weekly Pro Planner. Now, oh my God, like planning stuff is just making notes, making plans is just so exciting. But the best part about this book, like I can't even tell you how impressed I actually am with this. This doesn't have just like planning tools as in like, what you're gonna do on this day. It also talks about goals, affirmations, things that you're grateful for, what's your life purpose. Like, it's just got everything you could think of. So when you open it up, it has, oh, it's not gonna be able to see that, is it? Is it showing up? I really hope it is. So basically, on the first few pages, I'll tell you what is included. So it's got awareness and self-discovery, and it's got some questions. It's like, what is the vision for your life that you want? What are my core values? What am I passionate about? What's my life purpose? Then you've got, I'm grateful for, my affirmations, things I need in my life. You've got two blank pages to create a vision board. I have my physical, my wooden vision board, which there will be another video coming on soon, because that one was for 2020, and I'm gonna be recreating one for 2021. Stay tuned for that. And then when you go on you've got spaces for your one-year goals your three-year goals so you plan by week and it has weekly planners but then at the end of the month after you've got like four weeks it has a monthly review so you talk about what are your biggest wins what are the lessons that you've learned what have you accomplished and then it goes back onto again like the actual planning it has literally got everything that you can imagine including when I found these I was like oh my god I can't believe it's got these including stickers isn't it mad that even when you're an adult you get excited about stickers so these are really really cute stickers like they've got ones for gym for grocery shopping for your days off they've so they've got ones with little quotes on and stuff they've got ones for working out for doctor's appointments for birthdays for budgeting like Oh my God, it's just got everything. I also love the color of this. Like how beautiful is that teal color? That I think is the last of the physical presents. I can't think of anything else that I've missed out. Um, but I also have a couple of experiences as well. I also got an indoor skydive, which I'm so excited to do. I would never do a normal skydive. You lot must be mad if you've done one. I just feel like I would get to the top on the plane, they would open the door and I'd be like, nope. So my compromise is an indoor skydive, which I will be vlogging, um, and also a horse riding lesson. I've never done horse riding before, but I've always wanted to try it, so I'm really excited to bring you along with me for that one as well. I have honestly been well and truly spoiled, and I'm really, really grateful for everything that everyone's got me. I do hope that you enjoyed watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I hope to see you here again soon. Bye.